Hi everybody. Normally when I make a video in the kitchen, it's because I'm cooking something, but today I am not. Today we have the kitchen composter by the Dom. This is model FW300NE ATU. What does all that stand for? I don't know, but FW is for food waste and I just happen to have a bag of it here. This is the food waste from a delicious ham and bean soup I made the other day. It's got onion peel, garlic peel, potato peel, carrot peel, uh, bits of carrots, bits of celery, and some coffee grounds to make it extra gross. My wife said, we already have a garbage disposal. Why do we need a countertop food waste disposal unit? And I don't know, but I do know that when you shove stuff down the garbage disposal, you just kind of forget about it. And with this, there's a window. You can watch it all grind up and it dries out the stuff and you can use it for fertilizer for your plants. So that's, that's good, right? This model ships with two carbon filters. One of them is already installed and you have a spare for when this one expires. To change the carbon filter, you simply open the panel and pull the string. Then you grab a new filter, shove it back in here, arrow side up, and install the panel. And then you have to hit this filter reset switch. It keeps track of how old the filter is. From a user perspective, this is a pretty simple machine. You simply have the machine itself, the carbon filter, the locking lid, and the bucket. Now the bucket does have a maximum fill line and you shouldn't go above that with your food waste. I'm not sure if all the stuff I have here will fit in one load, but I can't wait to find out. First, let's plug it in. And now, the moment of truth. I hope it fits. I would say it mostly fits. And I'm just going to squish it in there to... There, perfect. Now, let's put the locking lid in place. Ooh, it's doing something. The button that says drying lid up, but I think I need to press the on off button to make it grind. Oh, there it goes. This is certainly quieter than our garbage disposal. I don't even know if you can hear it over the microphone, but it is running. And it is also not as fast as the garbage disposal. I can see it spinning around, grinding things up, and then it will pause and start spinning the other direction. I don't know if it's getting stuck or if that's just what it does. This machine does have recommendations, which they clearly outline in the manual. For example, they recommend that you use this for vegetable peels, uh, fish, shellfish, poultry skin, dairy products, beans, seeds, fish bones, coffee grounds, coffee filter bags, tea bags, eggshells, or weeds and dry vegetables. However, on the do not put in list are large bones, cow, pig, sheep, cooking oil or soy sauce paste, candy, gum, large fruit cores such as peach cores, coffee capsules, your K-cups, decomposable tableware, pineapple head. <laughs> they say if you cut into small pieces, you can put in whole corn or corn husks, grapes, celery, micro paper towels, or toilet paper, I think I'm gonna pass on that, dried vegetables, flowers, grass, 
are harder plants and fibrous plants like cilantro. I wouldn't consider that to be a fibrous plant, but they do. And they also say you can put in a small amount of starch such as rice, bread, pasta, whole fruits or fruits rich in sugar, jam, sauce, salad dressing, and peanut butter. There, you, you don't have any of these restrictions. Well, no, I shouldn't say that. And a garbage disposal, I certainly wouldn't put a peach pit down there. It just, it wouldn't go through. They also suggest that you throw in some citrus peel to help with the smell. <laughs> I haven't experienced that yet, but maybe it's coming. And I also wanted to note that it's been grinding for a while. It feels warm to the touch. And there is enough moisture in here that it, I cannot see what's inside anymore. So I just have to assume that it is doing what it's supposed to do. I feel it doing something. I don't know if it's just drying or if it's continuing to grind. It says the working principle, or the, the order of operations, I guess, it dries, it grinds, and then it cools. In each working state, the corresponding indicator light will light up. So from what I can tell, it is still in the drying stage. The FW300NEATU has finally finished all cycles. It took probably a little over four hours to complete. It looks mostly like potting soil. It's definitely not the same thing as a garbage disposal. I am thinking about growing a plant in the soil that this has created. However, you won't get to see that. That's more for my own personal satisfaction. How do I rate the FW300NE ATU? Well, compared to what? <laughs> this is definitely not a garbage disposal. It takes way too long compared to that. It is quieter, but this is specifically for somebody who wants to create compost out of food scraps. And that's it. And a garbage disposal doesn't do that. And I don't know the recurring costs of these filters that you have to replace every 300 hours. Just be aware that if this process takes four hours to complete, you are going to get 75 uses out of this before having to change the filter. So factor that into your decision. I like this product. It is easy to use. It does what it says it will do. There's no guesswork. You have to replace the filter every 75 uses. If you want to create compost where you know exactly what's going in it, then this seems like a viable option. So five out of five. Thanks for stopping by.